Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am showing you how to make cast iron salmon with crispy skin. Now this is one of my favorite go-to dinner recipes. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me make it before because it's definitely a part of our rotation. Um, it's just super simple and when you serve it with a couple of sides, it can easily be turned into a 30 minute meal. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we like to do that towards the end of the video. So make sure that you watch till the end if that's something you're interested in. So the first thing you need for this recipe is a cast iron skillet. This is a 12 inch cast iron skillet. I love this pan. I highly recommend them. They're super inexpensive and when you take good care of them, they will last you a lifetime. So I'll leave a link down in the description box below for those of you in the market for a cast iron skillet. But what I do is I get my oven preheated to 450 degrees, so nice and hot, with the skillet in the oven. So not only is the oven heating up, but the skillet is getting really hot as well. Both of these are key factors to getting that skin nice and crispy. Now as for my salmon, I have a pound and a half of salmon, so that's a six ounce salmon filet for each person. We are a family of four. And I really like using farmed salmon for this recipe because it has a much higher fat content than wild salmon. Wild salmon is quite a bit leaner. So I usually use the wild salmon if I'm doing baked salmon recipes, which I've shared in the past and we'll link to down below if you're interested in that. But for something like this, where I'm using a really high heat cooking technique, the farm salmon is ideal because that fat content makes it very difficult to overcook the salmon. Now keep in mind, when you're shopping for farm salmon, you want to look for salmon that's raised in the United States, Norway, Scotland, and Canada. These are the areas who have the best farming techniques. So that's where you're gonna get the best quality farm salmon. Once I have the salmon home, I like to leave it out of the fridge for about 15 minutes before I start working on it. This way you're not working with ice cold salmon. It comes down to room temperature a bit, takes the chill off of the salmon. So I get it onto a plastic cutting board. And the first thing I do is pat down the flesh side of the salmon with some paper towels. You just want to absorb all of the excess moisture, then flip them over and do the same thing on the skin side. The key here is that they're nice and dry because again, this is going to help that skin get nice and crispy. Then once I know I'm ready to get it in the oven, I take a little bit of kosher salt and I sprinkle it right over the salmon skin. This is gonna make that salmon skin kind of like a potato chip. Like you have that salty, crispy deliciousness. It takes it to a whole other level. You don't need to pepper it because the pepper will burn. So just a little bit of salt over the skin. And I do like to use kosher salt here because the granules are a little bit larger than table salt. So it has a really nice texture. Plus in the long run, you do end up using less salt. So it's a win-win. Just make sure that you're getting the salt on the skin right before you're ready to get the salmon into that hot pan because if the salt sits on the skin for too long, then it's gonna start to pull um, moisture out of that salmon and we're gonna end up with not so crispy skin. Okay, so my pan is scorching hot. I get it out of the oven and I just add about a teaspoon or two of ghee to the bottom of the pan. Just give a nice light coating. Uh, this could also be coconut oil. You could do an avocado oil. You just want something that's nice and stable and can hold up to high heat. And then into the pan goes the salmon skin side down. That is exactly what you want to hear, that initial sear as soon as the salmon gets into the pan. Then right over the top, I'll lightly season with a little bit more salt and some black pepper. Pop this whole thing back into that 450 degree oven and you want to let it cook somewhere between four to six minutes for every half inch of thickness that the salmon is. So my salmon is a about one and a half inches thick. So I'm gonna let it go for about 15 minutes in the oven. Again, guys, the beauty of using farm salmon is that it's so rich that it's very difficult to overcook. So great for beginners. Now, if this was a weeknight, what I would do to pull this whole meal together is I would get some rice cooking on the stove. This. Um, rice pilaf is one of our family favorites. My kids are crazy for this rice. I grew up eating this rice, so I really like it as well. Um, I bought it at Whole Foods, but I know it's available at a lot of different grocery stores. So I do recommend that one, or you could literally use any type of rice or grain you prefer. And then I also get my steamer pot going on the stove to steam up some asparagus. That literally is done in five minutes flat, and it goes really well with this dish. So again, these two simple sides pull this whole meal together to be a 30 minute meal. So just a little inspiration for those of you trying to turn this into a weeknight meal. 
Once the salmon is done, you will see that it turns from translucent to opaque. If you wanted to be really technical, you could use a thermometer. You're gonna look for the temperature to fall somewhere between 135 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I personally don't usually do that. I usually just take my fork and cut right into a piece of the salmon. And if it looks like this, you can see that it just flakes right off and it's nice and opaque and it's moist and tender. It's ready to go. And guys, look at the bottom here. It's super, super crispy. So the whole thing You've got that moist, tender salmon with the crispy skin. The combination is seriously to die for. Mm. That is seriously so good. Mm. Now you can obviously enjoy this just the way it is. You can also make it as a head start ingredient to put on top of salads or to make a simple salmon salad or a salmon patty throughout the week. Um, but what we usually do is just serve it right along that rice and the asparagus. I put a little piece of lemon on the plate and dinner is served. So if you enjoy salmon, I highly recommend giving this cast iron salmon with crispy skin a try. And when you do, take a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook showing me all the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens because that totally makes my day. And if you haven't already, my dear friend, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Here we go. Last time. Hi, yeah. My earrings are jingling. Ready? <laughs>